हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 1289 एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द गर्ल एट दिस पॉइंट ए कैन थ्रो अ बॉल एट वी ए इक्वल्स टू 10 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट सो दिस इज द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी सो वी आर आस्क्ड टू कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल रेंज राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल रेंज द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल डिस्टेंस दैट कैन बी achieved by throwing this ball with this same velocity 10 meter per second right and the associated angle theta right so we have to find this theta to achieve maximum horizontal distance in the x axis direction right and it is said that assume the ball is caught at b at the same elevation from which it is thrown right so this a and b point are at the same elevation right from this ground So now first we have to define our coordinate system so let's say that my origin is at this point A So let's say this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction right so the point A is at the origin right so this means that x not and y not they are 0 0 these are the coordinates of point A right and the coordinates of point b since this point b is at the same height right so the y coordinate of this point b will be zero right so i can write that the b uh, coordinates are the final coordinate right so that is x and y right so the y coordinate of b is zero right and in the x direction this point b is at a distance of r right so let me write it r as well right so x the final position along x is Uh, x equal to r and y equals to zero, right? So now, if we apply the horizontal motion equation, right? So we can write that x is equal to x naught. Mm, this will be v a x t. So x is r, and this is zero, right? So this will become zero, and this is v a x. So this is v a cos of theta into t, right? So let's say this is equation one, right? and now to consider if we consider the vertical motion so then y will be equal to y not plus v a y t minus half g t square right so again y not is 0 since the point a is at the origin right so y and this y is also 0 right so we can write it this is also 0 right since the y coordinate of this point b is 0 as well right so this means that v a y t is uh, is equal to plus half g t square right so if we take this to the other side of the equation right so v a y is v a sin of theta into t and we can cancel this one t as well right so this t will no more be here right so this will be v a sin of theta and g is 9.81 so 9.81 divided by 2 so let me write it as 1 g divided by 2 t right or uh, we can find this t from this equation right so t will be equal to 2 v a sin of theta divided by g now let's say this is uh, equation 2 So now, if we put this, if we substitute this t value in this equation, right? So the r will be equal to v a cos of theta, and this will be two v a sine of theta divided by g. Now, if we simplify this r equation, so this r will be equal to, so this will be v a square two cos of theta. Sine of theta divided by g, and this is r v a square, and two cos of theta sine of theta is sine two theta divided by g. Right. So let's say that this is equation a. So as we can see that v a is constant now in this particular problem, right? So v a is 10 meter per second, right? And g is also constant. So this means that r is a function of theta, right? So we can say that r is a function of theta. So now we want to find r max, right? So if we take the derivative of this r equation and 
equate the derivative equal to 0 so that will give us the our max condition for which that will give us theta for which r will be maximum right so if i write dr by d theta so this will be v a square divided by g since it's constant and the derivative of this will be cos of 2 theta into 2 right so we can write this like this as well right and if we equate this equal to 0 right so all these uh, constants will be will be cancelled out right so we can say that cos of 2 theta will be equal to 0 and 2 theta cos inverse 0 so this will give us 90 degrees so this means that theta is equal to 45 degrees right so when we throw the ball with 45 degree angle right so it will reach the maximum range right if we throw the ball with theta equals to 45 degree so that ball will cover the maximum distance in the x direction right so this is the condition for r max so right so now we can find r max from this equation right so r max will be equal to and if we put uh, theta equals to 45 degree in this equation so this will be v a square sine of 2 into 45 so this will be 90 degrees divided by g right so this will be v a square sine of 90 is 1 right so this will be g so whenever the ball returns to its original position right in the y direction right so our max will be our max can be calculated by using this formula right so now we can find our max for this particular problem so our max is equal to v a square so v a is 10 whole square divided by 9.81 so this will give us our max equals to 10.2 meters now i am going to solve this 1290 problem so it is based on the problem 1289 right so it is the continuation of problem 1289 right so for 1289 problem we have derived this relation right so that the distance traveled in the x direction will be equal to v a square divided by g sine of 2 theta and the assumption for this is that the the ball released from this point a will reach to the same elevation right so this means that the y coordinate of point a and b will remain the same right so if the uh, uh, y coordinate of a and b remain the same so then the distance traveled in the x direction will be can be calculated by using this equation right and then uh, we have concluded in the problem 1289 that r is equal to r max when theta is 45 degree right so when we if when the in the initial velocity angle with the horizontal is 45 degrees so then it will travel the maximum distance in the horizontal direction right now if we plot this equation right if i plot r versus theta right so if we plot r versus theta so then that graph will look like this right so let's say that this is r in meters and let's say this is theta in angles right so let's say this is in degrees right so when theta reaches 45 degree so r will become maximum so let's say somewhere here is r max right so we will have a graph like this right so this graph will be symmetric about this line if i draw a vertical line at uh, at angle equal to 45 degree if we have this vertical line so this graph will be symmetric right if we draw it exactly to the scale right so this graph will be symmetric right so this distance this distance and this distance on this graph will remain the same right and this graph will be symmetric about this line right for which theta is let's say 45 degree right so now in this problem 1290 it is said that show that the girl at a can throw the ball to the boy at b by launching it at equal angles mired up or down from a 45 degree inclination right so since this graph this r max is symmetrical about this 45 degrees so in this problem it is said that if the ball is launched at some angle let's say that that angle is somewhere here right 
let us say that this angle is phi, let us say. This difference is let us say phi, right? And if we launch the ball with some angle, let us say, let us say that this angle is theta 1 and let us say that this angle is theta 2, right? So, this will be let us say again that same phi, right? So, if we launch this ball with theta 1, so then this theta 1 will be equal to 45 minus this phi. This is the difference, right? So, theta 1 will be 45 minus phi or we can say that theta 2 is equal to 45 plus phi, right? So, this is theta 2. So, this will be 45 plus this phi and this theta 1 will be 45 minus uh, phi, right? So, for these theta 1 and theta 2, the r should be same, right? So, as we can see from this graph that this is the r value, right? So, if the angle is 45 minus phi or 45 plus phi, the r the range will be will remain the same right so in this problem we are asked that uh, equal angles measured up down from a up or down from a 45 degree inclination if v a is 10 meter per second determine the range r if this value is 15 degree right if phi is 15 degree right if this distance is 15 degree so we are asked to show that the range for this theta 1 which is 45 minus 15 degree and 45 plus 15 degree, the range for both of these angles will remain the same, right? So, now, according to this statement, we can write this R equation as V A square divided by G. We can write it like this as well, right? So, this will be sine of 2 and let us say I write 45 plus minus theta. Right, so the the result of this equation will remain the same, right? Or uh, let's say this will be 45 plus minus phi, right? So this that difference. So this is the new equation for R, right? So the graph will be symmetric about the 45 degree. So if if we put this theta one, which is 30 degree, this is 45 minus 15. If this is 30 degree, so then R will be equal to and V A is 10, right? In this problem, so this is 10 square divided by 9.81 sine of 2 and 45 plus 5, right? So 45 plus 5 is 30, right? So I will first I will use 45 plus 5, right? So that is theta of 1, right? So this will be the result for theta 1, and let me write that r equal to 10 square divided by 9.81 sine of 2 and this is let us say theta 2. So, theta 2 will be 45 plus 5, right? So, 45 plus 15 degrees. So, both of these will give us the same result. So, now when we solve these two equations, so the range in the x direction comes out to be 8.83 when they are launched if the girl releases the ball with velocity of 10 meter per second if the theta is 30 degree and if the theta is 60 degree, right? So, as we can see, if this is theta 1 and this is theta 2, right? So, there is one another conclusion from this that if this, if the angles are complementary, so the range in the horizontal direction will remain the same, right? So, what is meant by the complementary angle? So, if theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 90 degree, right? So, then what will happen is that the range will remain the same, right? So, this is theta 1, this is 30 and this is theta 2, this is 60. The summation of both is equal to 90 degree, right? So, when this is the case, so then R will remain the same.